sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with another 1994 White Sox game for you. Today we will be playing the Orioles. As you can see on the screen, the pitching matchup will be Mike Messina for the Orioles and for us, Austin Glenn. Now, if you're asking who Austin Glenn is, I have no idea. Again, I'm just the manager. I take the players that the uh, GM gives me and I do the best I can with that. And I'm not really, uh, well, Austin Glenn is zero and zero on the year with a 193 earned run average. So let's see. I mean, meanwhile, Messina is six and three with a 475. Now, as you can see by the standings, we are 22 and 27 and nine games out of first in the central division behind the Indians and the Royals. So let's go to the manager's office. Um, following players have announced their retirement after the season. Rich Gossage, Goose, is going to re retire after the season. Although we will wait and see if that really happens because I've had in this game, I've had players say they're going to retire after the season and then they don't retire. So, uh, but let's get on with the game. Hold on, I got to... Put the sound down. There we go. Just in case that was going to be a factor. And we're going out to the ballpark. And let me take a look at my lineup. Um, Morgan is cold, but I'm still going to play him. You got Glenn out there pitching. That looks like our general lineup. Hopefully we can beat the Orioles. We'll see. And uh, that's going to be, we're going to say swing away. And I guess I can put myself over here now so you can see what's going on according to what the screen is saying. Struck him out. Struck out the first batter, and that's nice. That brings up... Um, Oh, no, that, it's not nice. That was us. That brings up Tim Raines with one down. I forgot we were visiting. There's an out. Two down. Or, yeah, two down. And we have uh, Frank Thomas, Big Frank. Big Frank is going to ground out. So we go down one, two, three, and now here's our man, Austin Glenn. Look at that guy. He's a, He looks like a hard charger. So let's see what he can do. Oh, it gets by Frank Thomas. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, so, man on second, no outs, and Brady Anderson up in a 3-2 count on him, and he struck him out. Good. That brings up Leo Gomez, the first baseman. Leo Gomez at first base, and he walks him. Uh, I don't know. This, it doesn't look like he's got really uh, a no. There's a three-run dong. So the Orioles got a 3 nothing lead already. And that brings Jeffrey Hammonds to the plate. And he's ripping it, man. This guy is getting ripped. He's getting ripped all over the stadium. Uh, all right. Chris Elwell. Chris Elwell. Uh, Chris Elwell is apparently very good. He just ripped a double. Either that or uh, our man on the mound is horrible, which I'm thinking it's maybe definitely a little bit of the second. All right, so Austin Glenn is dealing to Devalu. 
Develu pops out, but the Orioles have a 4-0 lead here with a man at second base. And he's going to hit it through the hole, and that's probably going to score another run and make it 5-0. Five 5-0 nothing. Five nothing Orioles. Nice way to start. And he strikes out. All right, so we got to get five runs. I know that. And off Messina, ain't going to be easy. Got Franco up, though. Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco strikes out. Robin Ventura. He strikes out. Messina is dealing. He's having none of it. Darren Jackson for our White Sox. And he is going to fly out to right field. So here we go. Mark McLemore batting against Austin Glenn, who has got to be getting tired because he got smoked in the first inning for five runs. But there is one quick out. Um, so, yeah, let's go. That's going to be a fly out. Nice. Oh, no, he boofed it. I cannot believe that. All right. Man. I mean, when it rains, it pours, I guess. What are you going to do? Um, hmm. Was that another run? Six nothing now. And then there's a strikeout. So there's two down. Harold Baines up. Harold Baines puts it through the uh, through the infield. All right, Jeffrey Hammonds. Harold Baines, who we used to have. Trying to throw him out at third, and it's not going to be successful. So now runners are at the corners with two down, and we're down 6 nothing. And that is it for the second inning. But uh, i got to say, not looking good. All right, Ozzie Gein's up. Ozzie Guillen is going to get a base hit. Let's start it out here. Let's start the comeback. Carco Vice. Carco Vice is going to be out. One down. And this is Joey Cora, I think. And he is going to get a base hit. Nice. And that's going to score a run, potentially. Maybe start the comeback here. It's a triple. Yeah, it scores a run. Run scoring triple there for Cora. So with a man 90 feet away and only one out, we got Chris Morgan, the cold man. But he's not that cold. He singles right up through the middle and gets us our second run. Let's see if we can make a comeback on this. Uh, Tim Rain. Tim Raines is going to fly out to center. Short center field. All right. So there is two down for Big Frank. Nice home run would be great here, Frank. Ah, uh, no. No, he's going to pop out to the second baseman. We got two runs, though. I'm going to send Glenn out there again. And he is going to ground out the first batter. Grounds out, so that's nice. Mike Vanny, the catcher. Mike Vanny. Whoever heard of that guy? And there's going to be a throw out at first, and now Glenn is settled in. Nice to see. Might be a little late, but it's nice to see. And he didn't. Yes, that's a fly out going to say he didn't settle in that well, but yes, he has. Um, 
Franco Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco. And he's got a home run? No, a fly out. God, couldn't get a D, just couldn't get that extra couple of feet. And that's a strikeout. So now Messina is dealing again and back to Darren Jackson with two down. Is that out of the park? Tell me that's out. No, it's a fly out again. All right. I'm as bad at telling whether it's a home run or a, fly, a deep fly as I am doing it at the ballpark. All right, we got Glenn dealing to Macklemore. Here in the bottom of the fourth, that's a ground out, one away. Uh, Brady Anderson's up. Brady Anderson is going to be out two down quickly. And... Uh, Let's go, nice strikeout. So he gets through that inning. Let's see if he can get us through the fifth. I mean, we're still down by four, so it's not by any means a good situation. That's a potential ground out, and that's what it ends up being. Harko Weiss is up. He strikes out. And that brings Joey Cora, who tripled last time at the plate. And now he flies out. It always looks promising. And then it comes down in the hands, uh, in the glove of one of the Orioles outfielders. Here's Glenn trying to give me that extra little something. Dealing to Harold Baines. That might be a... a yeah, all right. I was going to say, Baines has like two broken knees. If you can't throw him out, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, Jeffrey Hammonds is up. Jeffrey Hammonds flies out to the outfielder. Thank you. And then that brings up Chris Elwell. Chris Elwell flies out. And it was nice to see Glenn settle down. But after you give up six runs... Might be a little late. I'm going to see what we've got going on in our bullpen, though. Uh, well, the only guy that's not the least bit tired is Gossage, um, and that's not going to work. Uh, but let's see if McCaskill can give me anything. We'll warm him up. We'll go back to the game. Messina dealing to Morgan. Morgan! Morgan! That's his second hit. And they said he was cold. He's not cold. I gotta tell you, he just tripled. All right, we're back in this thing, maybe. Man 90 feet away with no outs, and it's 6-2 uh, with Timmy Reigns up. And he walks. Nice. Got a little rally starting here. Frankie Thomas. And he strikes out. Frank Th He strikes Frank Thomas out. Franco up. Franco is going to get that run home. Yes, he does. That was the important thing. We needed that run. It's 6-3 now. And Ventura, Ventura Highway is up at the plate. And he walks. We got two runners on with two down. And who's up? Darren Jackson. And Darren Jackson walks to load the bases. What do we got going on here? Ozzy Guillen. All right, well, you got to let him hit. And he is not going to get another run home. All right, let's let Glenn face at least the first batter and see what he can do. There's one down. Nice. Um, Vanny, the catcher, he walks him. All right, so let's go get him. Let's go get him and bring in uh, McCaskill. And move me back over. And hopefully McCaskill can give us at least a couple of innings. And there's a pop out, so there's two down. And uh, 
Mark McLemore. Mark McLemore looks like he grounded out into a force play at second. And it is 6-2 still, but we're, or 6-3. It's still 6-3, but, you know, three runs. We might be able to do that. This is a high-scoring, high-octane offense with Ron Karkovice leading off. And maybe, no, Ron Karkovice is not the fleetest of foot, so he couldn't beat that out. Cora is up. Cora strikes out. And here's Chris Morgan. Chris Morgan is going to pop out, looks like. All right, 6-3 Orioles still. We're in the bottom of the seventh. McCaskill probably on fumes. And he's going to, the batter grounded back to McCaskill and he threw him out. Leo Gomez was trouble in the first inning. Of course, everybody on the Orioles, in their Orioles lineup was trouble in the first inning. There's an out, two down. And Harold Baines. And Harold Baines is going to, man, we have another error on Frank Thomas, it looks like. God. All right, runner at second. Jeffrey Hammond's at the plate. And that's a fly ball out. Thank you, McCaskill. And we are going to go get Goose up in the pen. We don't have a save situation, but it doesn't really matter because he is the only guy who uh, is completely rested. So it's unfortunate. Um, but let's see if we can get something going here. That might be a base hit. That might be a base hit. It is. And then I'll move myself back over here. Frank Thomas. Come on, Frank. Jack it out of here. No, he doesn't do that. But he did he beat it out? He did? Yes. We have two runners on on two infield singles with no outs. And Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco. And he's going to get a base hit. But the runner had to hold. Yes, the runner had to hold. But we got the bases loaded with nobody out. And here comes Robin Ventura Highway. And he is going to be out and safe at first, looks like. No. No. Double play. God. No, wait. No. All right. They didn't turn the double play. All right. I didn't think they got it. It didn't look like they got him. And they're going to do it again. <sighs> All right. We got to get this run in again. Come on. No. Oh, yes, he does. Error on the second baseman. Thank you. Finally. All right. So now we're down by two. Not that bad a situation now we got going on with Park of Ice up. Let's go, Jacket out. Yeah, another run comes in. Six five people. Don't don't leave your sets just yet. It's six five with Joey Cora up and he strikes out. Alright, well, I'm definitely gonna bring Gossage in. Like right now. McCaskill is on fumes, which is obvious. Move me back over here. Go back to the game. Hope that Gossage can keep us scoreless right here. Uh, no, he can't. He gives up a home run to the first batter. He's perfectly rested, and he gives up a home run. To Elwell. Of all people. So there's an out. One down. Debelo was out. Gossage dealing to Mike Vanny. That's going to be an out. There's two down. And 
Messiah is up and he's out. All right, well, they got another run, so it's 7-5. We got to have two runs right here. With Chris Morgan, who has been hot this game, leading us off, and it looks like there's a reliever on for the Orioles. That's going to be a fly out, though. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> Lee Smith. They're throwing an all-star team at us. That's going to be a ground out. So there's two down. We're down by two. And Frank Thomas at the plate, and he hasn't done anything all day. And he's not going to do anything there either. So that's the game, folks. That is the game. We lose 7-5. to five. There's the box score, in case you want to take a quick look at uh, how we did, how the players are doing, too. Karkovice is hitting 212 on the year, but, you know, what are you going to do? The backup is Lavalier. Um, this is a good lineup, though. And Glenn, six earned runs in five and a third. That wasn't very good. McCaskill, 1.2 innings, and then Gossage, 1. But uh, he gave up a run, but it didn't really matter. We were going to lose that game anyway. And so here is what the standings now look like with us at 22 and 28 and 10 games out. Not good. Not good at all. Well, that's all I got for you. That's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke.